Yeah, so I'm here to talk uh, today about messaging. We do uh, mobile messaging. And um, you know, there's an interesting new trend. Now, messaging, as you know, is huge, right? You've heard about WhatsApp, Slack, lots of buzz about it. People are talking about WeChat as well. Lots of interesting things happening. But uh, in my opinion, you know, we, you've seen nothing yet, right? Um, if you if you think about it, uh, you know, when Steve Jobs came up with the iPhone, the idea was the OS is the platform, and apps are going to enable individual use cases, right? Uh, well, that paradigm is sort of running out of steam uh, because while you do have millions of apps, if you look at most of our usage, we barely use a handful of apps on a daily basis, right? And because small screen context switching, it gets very painful. So there's a new emerging trend where messaging apps are becoming uh, the new platform, right? If you think about WeChat, you can do uh, e-commerce, book a taxi, order food, pizza, all kinds of things from the app itself. So the messaging app is becoming the new platform. Uh, messaging bots are becoming the new app which enable different use cases. So now you're just in one place. Um, everything is just messages going back and forth. There's no context switching or, or at least no, you know, uh, it's, it's not, you don't need uh, multiple apps, dozens of apps on your, uh, on your device and so on. It all becomes much, much uh, easier. So that's the emerging trend, but uh, even there, you know, uh, to enable some advanced capabilities, you need to do much more than just plain text messaging, right? So this is where Team Chat comes in. Uh, we've uh, we've come up with something we call, you know, uh, we've come up with something we call smart messaging. In smart messaging, each basic message, instead of being a plain text message, becomes a structured message. And let me just show you because it's a lot easier to show than talk about it. Okay, so um, actually, so this is the uh, home page, and if you any of you have downloaded the app, you can even follow along uh, on your own device. Uh, but I'll just demo it here. Just looks like any other uh, messaging app. And if I go into this group that we've set up just for this event, um, you know, each message is a is a structured message. So, for example, uh, this is a poll up here. Uh, you could have a survey. And the cool thing about this is when people reply. Right? The message will automatically update itself and display the aggregate total. Right? So let's say you run a poll and you know 100 people here reply. You're just going to see one message with the aggregate results rather than 100 individual messages. Right? So imagine if you're an organization and you sort of send out messages. So I mean, this one small example you could argue is sort of survey monkey on steroids. Right? I mean, it's just real time, but it does much more than that. Right? So I'd say, okay, what if you want to do some other things? Uh, you can capture the location of your team. You can get people to, you know, fill in sales revenue and so on. Uh, there's uh, there's uh, many different things. You can get people to fill in forms. In each of these cases, the common theme is as people uh, respond, it gives you, you know, it, it aggregates. Now, you can drill down if you like, but uh, by aggregating, it dramatically reduces clutter. It uh, makes it easy to communicate uh, in large groups. If you have thousands of people, tens of thousands of people in a single group, you could still manage. But if you try doing that on Slack or WhatsApp, it'll kill you, right? I mean, because there'll just be way too many messages. So that's uh, one part of it, right? Um, the other part of it is there are APIs on the back end, which means you can create your own messaging bots and use that to define certain messaging workflows, if you will. So think about it. As you get all this data, you know, you might say, okay, uh, I have a bot uh, sort of uh, on the back end which aggregates that data and produces these charts or reports and sends it out here. Um, again, these charts are self-updating, which means even if there are hundreds of updates, uh, you'll only see the latest version. You're not going to see, you know, if you got alerts and email, you'd probably get 100 emails or you'll get one email at the end of the day, right? So it's either delayed or cluttered, but in this case, it's both real time and uh, and no clutter, right? So. Or uh, another example, right? Let's say if you're monitoring lots and lots of servers, uh, this is an example where, uh, um, you know, so we use Nagios for monitoring our own servers. If any of you are, are used to this, you'd get probably thousands of, uh, if you're not at the dashboard, if you're getting email alerts, you probably get far too many. You're inundated with alerts. But here what happens is, as you can see, they're sort of threaded, uh, they're color coded. And then there's also escalation paths, and uh, there's, uh, there's also escalation path or reminders. So if people don't respond to a message, they get reminders. If they don't respond in within five minutes, it gets escalated to the next person and the next person. So you could you know, now enable almost any kind of enterprise workflow. It could be CRM, HR, you know, sales processes, and so on. You could do all kinds of things. So 
And so I could I could go on, but you know, I think the way to think about it is messaging is big, we're making messaging programmable, right? Because each packet, instead of plain text, it has structure, it has context, it can render itself, it can handle itself, which means now you can do all kinds of things with it. You could build your own bots, um, you could use this app standalone or embed it into your own app if you need to enable messaging in your thing. And uh, basically, we believe you know structured messaging or smart messaging, as we call it, is the is the next wave of uh, of messaging innovation. This makes messaging a platform and offers endless possibilities. So, in the interest of time, I'll just be done. Right. So, happy to take some questions.